two, three. I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective readings, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. I love it, okay? It's greatly appreciated. Please keep it coming, and I will always reply, okay? Um, God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, all beings of light only, you're welcome into this reading. Please give the Piscean Seer Collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? The bastard son of the devil himself, okay, y'all? <laughs> That's a very interesting show. You should watch that. That's good as fuck. Okay, so I did a pre pool, but let me tell you the notes first because I think that the pre pool will be much funnier after you hear the notes, okay? Because I was just sitting here rolling, like, let me put you record. Oh, the song is the music is too loud, I forgot to turn it down because I do not want to get copyrighted, I don't own the rights to any music you heard, okay? <laughs> Please, because I just let the I just let the videos get a little, I mean, I let the videos get a little bit of views and then I just delete it because I can't monetize um, with them stupid copyrighted videos on there. So, yeah. Excuse me, just eating candy. Okay. So, it's a, <laughs> the bastard son of the devil himself. It's the good witches versus the bad witches, okay? It's not really the son of the devil. It's really the son of the blood witches, which are the actual good witches, okay? Because there's... Okay, so... Let me just stick to the notes, though. I don't want to confuse you, okay? So... Um, the fairborn witches are the good witches in the show, right? And the blood witches are the bad witches or the ones that they refer to as the devil because I'm like every so often, I guess there's a, there's a witch that's born to the blood witches that, um, it's kind of evil pretty much like he goes around and eats the hearts of, um, the other people. I mean the other witches. Okay. Like the fairborn witches. He eats their hearts and absorb their powers. And then when the blood witches, um, my bad, I spit some candy, I don't accident. <laughs> when the blood witches um, die, they pass on all the powers in them to the next, like, matriarch or, you know, leader of the family. So, that's why they eat the fairborn witches' hearts. Plus, the fairborn witches are evil. Okay, the fairborn witches are like the Illuminati and the blood witches are like us, okay? I only say Illuminati because, you know, for lack of a better word, I'm sure that's like <laughs> just some joke shit now. <laughs> but um, it says, um, the bastard son of the devil himself was found at a baby, found as a baby in a house with his sister and dead mom, right? Okay, so... The mom was a fair, was born a fairborn witch, okay? And um, the blood witch, the dad was the blood witch, okay? And the dad had gone around and did like this major massacre because he couldn't ignore like the sound of the beating hearts or whatever. So the brother, I mean, the, the son and the sister were um, like basically taken to the grandma's house who was the fairborn witch, okay? So the mother of, of the mother. She's taken to the grandparents' house, and um, the grandma raises both of them, okay? And every year they come and they test the little boy, you know. They ask him questions, you know, um, are you hearing heartbeats? She cuts them to see how fast he's healing and all kinds of things, just keeping track of him and making sure he's not hearing heartbeats, you know, because he could take after his mother, who's a fairborn witch, 
and, um, you know, just come into his regular power. OK, when they turn 17, they do this weird ritualistic thing where in on both sides, though. OK, they both have this in common. They do this ritualistic thing. They give you they give the kid like two or three gifts and then um, they give them their blood. OK, because only by the blood can you receive your powers. OK, <laughs> the blood of Jesus. Do you hear me? <laughs> only by the blood can you receive your powers. OK. Um, so this is funny. This is real funny. So the Fairborn witches, okay, get this. They're so uppity, right? They're so uppity and, you know, everything they do is a secret. They got a whole committee where they, um, you know, go arrest other witches and shit for doing regular stuff. Like they are like the government, okay? They are harassing the shit out of the blood witches. They, um, hunt them down and all kinds of things have them like in hiding pretty much because of one blood witch that did that to all of the fairborn witches so one but um blood witch is bloodthirsty and so you know but it's like he couldn't help it it was it was his what he was supposed to do he it was his duty to go out and harvest powers for the next generation okay to be passed down to the next man in the family okay so um, they only get one power. Okay. So his sister is a shapeshifter. Okay. Ooh, y'all. His sister's a shapeshifter. Okay. And she's, she's, um, a full, full blooded fairborn. So she hates him too. This bitch murders him and everything. Like she damn near murders him. Okay. And then the grandma goes and finds him in the abandoned building and saves him and bring him back to life and shit. But the sister's hella scandalous. Okay. So you can have a scandalous ass sister. That's for somebody. Your sister is not it, okay? <laughs> and you know, though, okay? So um, this is not me breaking the news, like, you know, insensitively. You know your sister ain't shit, okay? But it doesn't have to be, like, a sister, okay? It could be, like, a homegirl or, you know, just somebody you're close to. Somebody that people would think is your sister because of the way y'all chill or whatever. Hold on. Because um, it says, I wrote 1155 and 8, but I didn't um, look them up. Fuck love, give me diamonds. Okay, so eleven fifty five says your angel number eleven fifty five indicates that it is time to begin a new endeavor, a new direction, or perhaps a new business venture. All of your hopes and dreams will come to fruition. Now get ready for some wonderful changes in your life and you'll finally be able to rest in your own skin. OK, so this like used to be a threat to you. OK, I think that's really the whole point of me <laughs> telling you this. But honestly, it did not come together for me until right before I was about to do it. And I was like and spirit was like, do two sides. And I was like, you want me to do two sides? <laughs> And they was like, you heard us say do two sides. So they was like, pull a tarot card because my tarot cards say yes and no on them. OK. And um, so I pulled a card and it said yes. And the song was like, yeah. <laughs> so I started laughing. Anyways, you're about to start new new endeavors. OK, go in a new direction, do new things um, and elevate way past, you know, the fair board, which is like they think that they're you know, like safe, but they're just really not safe. Let's look up, let's look up the ape symbolism. Just give me them checks. Can't blame me, I live in the material world. So apes are almost universally negative images in Western culture, although they were often revered in the Indian, Egyptian, and Chinese traditions. In Christian symbology, however, they have long been considered a symbol of malice and physical ugliness <laughs> as a pejorative um, epithet, I think, dating back to the ancient world. OK, so they are just full of malice and physically ugly. OK, <laughs> just re rest assured knowing that it says they openly make jokes and comments about how witches don't exist. OK, OK. Do you hear this? This is literally like the the elites against us. OK, this is all very 
metaphysical okay this world is metaphysical this physical shit is just like nothing okay this is nothing compared to what's really going on in this spirit okay i am so glad to have woken up to this shit okay <laughs> because um you're like we're being targeted okay we're being targeted but they can't really like get us the way they want to okay because god is is protecting us okay look the overall energy um, is plotting on you and need to mind their own damn business. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now let me finish these notes before I tell you, cause I uh, pre pulled two cards for the Fairborns and the blood witches. Okay. For them and us. Um, so he remembers everything since he was a baby. Okay. So you could be, um, starting to remember, um, things, memories and situations that you forgot about. Okay. Um, they're coming up for you to learn lessons. What I heard, I heard learn the lessons. Um, you could be remembering like old things, you know, okay. Things that your sisters, your family have done to you, you know, Excuse me. It says the sister turns out to be a shapeshifter after she gets the blood. And then I wrote 1212. Okay. And that bitch. Oh, that bitch was so hateful and nasty. Like she had the nastiest fucking attitude. Like, oh, she was evil. And it, it was crazy because it's like he supposed to be the bastard son of the devil, bitch. Why are you so mad? <laughs> These bitches mad, y'all. OK, <laughs> so 12, 12 serves as a powerful message from the universe and one's guardian angels. It can be interpreted to mean that you're on the right path. I think um, it says, should be seen as a message of encouragement to step out of your comfort zone and place your trust in yourself and the universe. Okay, so if you have big, big dreams, okay, you want to do something, you want to do a career that is elite level, okay, you want to get into the industry or do something like that. Spirit's saying you can do those things, but you need to be awakened and aware of what the fuck kind of game you're trying to get into, okay? Because people are so, you know, scared and worried about, oh, magic. Oh, who's a witch? Oh, who's burning a candle? Oh, shit. But it's not about doing those things. Those things are fine. Those things have been getting done for centuries. It's about what is your intention behind that candle that you're burning, okay? Because I burned candles for myself, for God, for my angels, for my ancestors, but I wish I would spend my fucking hard-earned money on a fuck bitch and buy a candle to burn it on her fuck her and anyway i don't want the karma so anyway <laughs> his sister <laughs> set him up and held him hostage and made the boyfriend torture him um i also wrote jessica or annalise okay your name could be jessica or annalise or anna or lisa okay um, it says it is prophesized that his own blood will kill the wolf. OK, that's what they kept saying. That was the prophecy. Um, his own blood will kill the wolf. OK, so they were thinking that he was that the, the bastard son of the devil himself was meant to kill his father. OK, which is really symbolic for me. It really to me represents, OK, killing these generational curses, killing, you know, the things that that our ancestors accumulated. We're killing off those things so that we can go and have the success that we're supposed to have. OK, it said it, um, the witches keep him alive in case they need him to protect them. OK, so they pretty much raised him and kept him alive because they know he's the only one with the real power to protect them. If the blood witches do come through and do a run through. OK, um, just like, you know, the, the dot gov, you know, um, they are afraid that they're outnumbered. OK, they don't really know how many of them there are. OK, just like us. They don't really know how many of us there are. The count of us is approximate. OK, everybody don't get born in hospitals and, you know, have all the paperwork. Everybody ain't got they have. They don't really know how many people there are. Let me just let me just be the first to tell you that. OK, um, fuck a census and all that shit. I heard what about the census that I didn't look. <laughs> nothing okay everybody they don't know how many people there are okay look the witches let me see they met up to discuss a truce and the wolf killed them all okay that's what happened when i said he did this massacre okay they he he framed it like he wanted to um you know go to the fairborns and make this deal you know but he had to go get these powers for the next generation so he made it seem like he wants to make a truce with them and he killed them all okay 
It says, um, and made a child with a witch um, the same the same night, okay? Careful who you chill with right now, okay? <laughs> okay, so be careful who you chill with right now because I wrote that kind of sloppy and I had to like go through it like that. Um, so um, be careful who you chill with. Um, there's some type of ritual where people are where you kill and then you you have sex it's some side of, some sort of sex magic okay um i heard that it works with animals too they don't have to kill a person okay <laughs> so just watch out for that okay be careful who you're sleeping with right now um i'm not i'm not i'm not fucking around okay <sighs> i want to tell y'all my business i was gonna say i tried <laughs> but it didn't work <laughs> It didn't work. Okay, damn. So blood witches, I heard it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait though. Okay, that's what they keep telling me. Okay, blood witches um, soak the soaked up the power from the fairborns. Okay, I already said that. Oh, the alchemist. The alchemist is fire. Okay, there's an alchemist in there. Okay, and he pretty much knows all the um, little potions and back doors and secret ways to get all the all, you know all the magical um, doorways and shit in town. You know, and he has this powder like the Sandman um, to make him able to see things. Okay. I wrote the alchemist can walk through doors. Others can't perceive. Okay. You are an alchemist. You can walk through doors that these bitches ain't ever seen. Okay. They are walking through like evil gates, you know, evil doors. Okay. They're dealing with evil gatekeepers. Okay. But you don't have to worry about that because you are an alchemist. Okay. So whatever it is that you want to do, you can do that shit. Okay. Um, it says, um, and he has all the right tools and knowledge to guide others, okay? So you could be meant to do whatever it is that you're supposed to do, okay? So that you can guide others on how to get, say, into the industry without selling their souls or, you know, how to actually see some money, see some revenue, see some fame, you know? Because everybody doesn't sell their soul, right? They just get, like, blacklisted or some shit like that. There's the ways around that, okay? There's all kinds of backdoors and um, loopholes and shit to these contracts, okay? Y'all need to be trying to figure them out. If you want to be in that. Okay, so on the Fairborn side, you know, because let me remind y'all, we are the blood witches, okay? Our power is in our blood, okay? Whether you do magic or not, you don't have to, okay? <laughs> you do magic. Whether you do, just stand in there, you do magic, okay? So um, you are the blood witch, okay? You live by the blood of Jesus. You are a part of the Christ pool, okay? <laughs> I don't care what set you claim. If it's light, it is of God, okay? <laughs> Um, so the fairborn witches, we got seagulls, okay? Um, gluttony, thievery, gossip, crowd mentality, okay? So they're followers. Um, and they're very dirty, okay? We always hear about, you know, how they stink and all of this type of shit, you know, and they have diseases and whatnot because they're like really like evil incarnate, is what I heard. <laughs> they're evil incarnate. And they about to be in their feelings when they lose their spot. Okay, so um, it says symbolize freedom and carefree security to destruction at the hands of a loved one foreshadowing device. Okay, um, also you can have like a family member or a loved one, someone that you know that's trying to get into this. Okay, um, just because people are your blood don't mean they're bloodborne rich bloodborne witches okay they want to go go off and join the fairborns because they don't know their real power okay they're not awake to who they are and even if they were it's too late because they already got rid of the shit that would have got them in the actual gates of heaven okay <laughs> um so they're like prove it <laughs> that's what the fairborns are always saying right they always want um some sort of proof behind the shit that they do okay spirit said want to be treated like a king you gotta wear the crown okay <laughs> guess what is playing um so look on our side we got doing voodoo on you okay and playing mind games with themselves okay they playing mind games with themselves they not playing they not playing no games with you the song says show enough <laughs> they are not playing no games with you they are playing games with a fucking self okay and they're wasting all of their time and energy trying to play these games with you spirit just wants you to know like look they they forge documents and shit um damn so so <laughs> this person in your family could have forged some type of documents 
or like stolen some of your documents and like doctored them, you know, so that they can steal from you. I don't know. Look, empath and exploration research, okay? You can like literally feel the energy of these types of people, like when they're around you on that, on that bullshit. <laughs> That on that bullshit song, boy. That's my shit right now. <laughs> Cause they be on that bullshit. For real. Okay. This one says, oh shit. So this person might <laughs> ugly, sad, mad hoes fell on the floor. Okay, so this person might um use Uber or Lyft a lot to get rides and shit. Okay, this bitch is an ugly, mad, sad hoe. Let me get the card though. So you so cause you know they want us to prove it. <laughs> It's like you prove it every time you talk, bitch. Okay, so ugly, mad, sad hoes. Okay, let me make sure my crown is right. Okay, uh, gotta represent the bloodline right. <laughs> okay, so they ugly, mad, and sad. And it's, isn't it like what else is new? Like, bitch, are you ever happy about anything? Like, what was the last time you had a good day? You wanna go on a date with me, bitch? <laughs> We can go hang out. You can stop being so mad. I'll teach you a little something, something. But I found someone who's going to take care of me. Look, it says it's a scam. Okay. And I just, I just heard like they're a scam. Like whoever the fuck this person is. I thought that this was more on like, you know, some elite shit. And it is, okay. That's what Spirit said. It is, it is. But also you have to realize like people go and they do things. You don't know what the fuck people doing all the time, okay? <laughs> like you don't know what people are getting involved in, like what they're doing. And most people are so dumb, they'll get involved in some shit and not even know they just got involved in that, okay? So you can't trust nobody. Look, drug, food, and drinks. So watch your food and drinks around folks. Um, don't be sitting your shit down. Don't be going out with people that you don't trust. That's the best thing I ever did was stop going out with people I don't trust. <laughs> for real probably saved my fucking life i see the device says it's divine masculine right here okay so masculine watch for the foods or drinks you are eating okay okay dudes um you dealing with a soulless creature this is what you're dealing with okay you're dealing with a soulless creature of a person okay someone who has sold their soul and i heard and they think <laughs> they can sacrifice you but you're too big of a sacrifice for them they could never look it says why not me <laughs> why not me it says that they mad about stupid sh they mad about some dumb shit anyways which is the whole reason why they want to like get rid of you they don't want you around over some dumb shit look you won the case though <laughs> you won the case though so it's like like oh my gosh i just hear like they talk, they took it to God, like, God, why not me? <laughs> and God was like, what? You did this, you did this, you did this, and you did that. And you go in a purgatory, bitch. <laughs> like, excuse me. God didn't even say nothing to them. It says, whatever happens, don't let go, though. Whatever happens, don't let go of whatever your vision is, whatever you see yourself doing and wherever you see yourself going, because it's in your blood, baby. It's in your blood. It's not on you. It's in you. They cannot, <coughs> excuse me. They cannot take it from you. Okay. Look, thief of energy. <laughs> Damn, thief of energy or property. Okay. So like I said, whatever the fuck they want, they can't take, they, they're a thief. They can't take it from you. If they fucking tried, if they couldn't hold it. I keep saying that they can't even hold the power that you hold, that they're coveting. They can't even handle it because the first step is doing shadow work. OK, you have to go through all of the bullshit that people be too stubborn and dumb to realize is stuck inside of you. It's in there. OK, even if you and I say dumb only because even if you try to educate them, like they're not even open to it because they are already a soulless creature. You can't teach a soulless creature shit. You could tell somebody with a soul something and their soul will hear and resonate with that. But if a bitch is soulless, there's nothing you could do for her. She go. 
so they're greedy too they're greedy as fuck they're trying to fill some kind of void okay because <laughs> that's what greedy people be doing they be trying to f f eat something that like feel something that's missing okay because it's not necessarily about eating okay because you, you think about greedy people they're greedy all around okay they they want a lot of everything okay magnolia symbolizes um the luck oh the magnolia tree symbolizes luck stability a staple in southern gardens delight people with its flowers okay so you're going around and you're just delighting people with your beauty okay with your flowers um <laughs> just being fabulous and wonderful and amazing okay um <laughs> endurance beauty diversity and forbidden love okay so tired you were tired of, of this stupid shit okay uh, people is stalking you hard as fuck look it says <laughs> Archangels asking you to forgive others and yourself. Okay, so forgive these people because they know not what they do. Okay, they could be going to um, a fake reader trying to get information about you. <laughs> and you're like, dear past, thank you for the lessons. I'm gonna put that one down. Dear past, thank you for the lessons. Now I'm not an idiot anymore because I learned the lessons I was supposed to be learned. Okay. Um, it says you're being bullied for what they lost you. Okay, so they have cost you so much shit. It says... <laughs> It says, sick of these niggas, get rid of these niggas. It says, you don't chase, you attract, okay? So you've been attracting everything that you want to attract. I've seen the hand flower card, um, which the hand flower is actually called the devil's hand, okay? So these bitches going out, you know, like, I, like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what I just heard, I heard like, you know, some, some sort of deal, like, um, they could keep themselves... They could keep themselves as long as they were putting things in the devil's hand. Look, here we go with this. Try to steal your identity with these forged documents, okay? It says hiding a murder, hiding a body. Public transportation, bus or train. So they might like, could be somebody that takes the bus a lot. <coughs> Under that, it said child of wickedness, okay? Excuse me. <coughs> clearing my throat let's see what well, let's see what else they want to say all right we only had 26 minutes we only had 26 minutes guys so yeah these people are like they're not alone in this okay my dog said Burr. <laughs> they're not alone in this okay they are low-key <laughs> the song say i'm low-key with the drugs and i'm what do you say i I'm serving up cocaine. I re-rock everything. They can sell drugs. But they hella low-key about everything that they do. Why did my ears just start ringing? My ears ringing like a motherfucker right now. They, <laughs> they are just totally to the left like crazy, okay? You can smell their energy. Oh, my gosh. I damn near couldn't sleep last night. I could smell every, every fucking thing right now, like... It says haunted house, unwanted spirits. Okay, you could be, you could smell like the the unwanted spirit on them if that makes any sense. Okay. See, I might as well. I keep saying I might as well put these decks together because I don't see how I'm gonna keep them separate. Okay. <laughs> um, it says watch, watch, Rosicurian alchemical practices for developing clairvoyance. So these people could be trying to um to develop their clairvoyance, okay? To get their psychic abilities going, you know, like yours are going, but we are not the same. I am a Martian. You don't have the same psychic <laughs> powers as me, bro. You are not a developing clairvoyant. You are a soulless creature. <laughs> so we'll never be able to do the same things. Hey, Michelle <laughs> Obama, purse so heavy, get no pro dollars. <laughs> okay. So you a boss out here. The Hawthorne's Venusian star seeds. Okay. Radiate unconditional love. Creative thinkers. Abundance of ideas. Um, energy feeds off creativity. Not happy if not creating. Okay. So you could feel like that. Like when you're not creating something. Me, I'd be like, oh, I got to paint something. Or I got to. I have to be doing something, you know. Which is why I love this. Because it allows me to, you know, like create every day. Okay. <laughs> um, 
Um, it says you have this strength and reliability about you. These people don't like that you are uncontrollable because when I was going to read unconditional, I said uncontrolled. They, they don't like that. They cannot control you. OK, they cannot manipulate you and play with your fucking mind. OK, it says <laughs> you came from another universe through a portal via Sirius. Extremely empathic, very vivid dreams, interested in ancient Egypt. OK, look into the ancient Egyptian things you are be have been being called to look into. OK. Um, it says strength and reliability provides support and guidance, making it a protector through and through. So this is what I was saying when I said that they kept you alive just in case. I mean, they kept him alive just in case they needed him to protect them. OK, they made it seem like they cared about him, you know, and they're just trying to monitor his progress. But really, they just want him around just in case they need to use him for something. OK, it says passionate for miles away, <laughs> passive with the things you say passing up on my own ways i can't blame you no so this person knows that you're over that bullshit okay look it says cobra among the family of snakes cobra is the most deadly defensive nature or even evil okay so like i said this is a soulless person you are dealing with okay um orange blossom this person could be infertile okay that could be the reason why because they're a nasty person and they're not like they're not I heard that they're not granted they're not granted permission to, like they're not meant to make life this time during this lifetime so it says innocence purity virtue luck and fertility eternal love used as an adornment for brides during wedding wedding ceremonies and celebrations so you could be about to get married okay you could be about to have you a wedding ceremony that's fire. I'll be looking out for my invitation. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, she says, stop being so fake. I know you do not like me. You made it very clear. Always talking about me from what I hear. You always put me down when you thought that you could. I want you to know that I'm doing so good. Hey, wasn't it you that said I thought I was all that and you said I didn't have a clue? Wasn't it you that said that I wouldn't make it through? And wasn't it you that said that I didn't look too good. Look at me, I think I'm good. I want you to know that I'm doing so good. Yeah, you're looking forward to like the future and you're staying in the moment at the same time, okay? Like, <laughs> you are doing some real elevation, okay? Spirit's loving it, okay? Please keep on doing that. And it's hard for them to face like how good you're doing. Like, they want you to slow down, okay? They want you to stop, really, but they know it's not going to stop. Watch the ancient Egyptians knowledge of vibration was extraordinary on YouTube. That is a very interesting video. You should definitely watch that. Okay. It's called, um, the ancient Egyptians knowledge of vibration was extraordinary. Okay. It was some kind of tech that they did with crystals and, and, you know, sounds that allowed them to do amazing things. Okay. It was some sort of like, um, electrical source is what I heard. It says, wake up spiritually and psych psychologically and stop being victims. Victim consciousness allows people to be abducted and manipulated. OK, so you need to know you are not a victim to this. You're not a victim to this type of shit. OK, unless you decide you are a victim to this type of shit. You are whatever you decide you are. OK. <laughs> it says smile. So smile, my love. Smile knowing that your future is fucking set, okay? Just be happy. That's all spirit wants you to do. And they want you to not only be happy, but they want you to be aware, okay? Um, this one says matter versus energy. Mm. Solid matter does not exist. Um, atomic structure is comprised of oscillating. Hey of oscillating energy grids. Get out of here. Surrounded by other oscillating. Okay. So not only are you like um, oscillating circles around these hoes, <laughs> but everything is just energy, okay? You have the power to, you, you're a need your right, okay? You wield the fabrics of time and space. So <laughs> use your magical, wonderful powers that God gave you, okay? And bend this reality to what you want it to be, okay? And do it with God behind you. Don't, 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 don't play. Now, look. <laughs> look, it's Gerbo. 
So it says divine interaction, okay, or gift, okay? You, there's divine interaction going on in your life, okay? They are interacting with you on a daily basis. Make sure you're paying attention to the signs, okay? Listening to what spirit is telling you. Um, you're highly artistic. Um, you could be a singer, musician, artist. Didn't I say somebody that wants to be in the music industry? You could be a, a singer, a musician, a, a artist, okay, or have a passion for traveling and exploring the world um, and strong psychic abilities. So your psychic abilities are super strong, okay? You are not tripping. You could even be like dreaming about stars, okay? From Lyra Constellation, inhabit the brightest star in our sky, which is serious. Okay, let's see. You know, it cut me off. I don't know where it cut me off at. So there's definitely going to be some <laughs> ascensions or two missing. Okay, you could be dealing with some mean girls. Okay, some draconian star seeds that are warrior like. Okay, they know they're losing, but they just can't give up. Okay, just make sure that you go with the flow. That's all you need to do. Okay, because you have like the whole Aurora Borealis within you okay you are ama you are amazing there's worlds within you you manifest like crazy okay and so don't worry about these logic based people that are operating on animal survival and their predatory instincts because they praying on the wrong motherfucker <laughs> they praying on the wrong motherfucker fucking with you okay and with that i'm done I'm going I'm to leave it there. Spirit said we done. Okay. I got another one to do and I'll see y'all later.